The housing crisis crippling much of the state is only amplified in the Bay Area, where the median home price is more than a million dollars. But Senator Scott Weiner believes State Senate Bill 35 helped turn the tide when it was passed six years ago. That bill helped speed up housing permits and block so-called frivolous court appeals that can and often did tie new housing projects up for years. It has been absolutely transformational. But SB 35 is set to expire in less than two years, so now Weiner is introducing a new bill, Senate Bill 423, to keep the legislation in place and even strengthen it into the foreseeable future. He says under the current law, more than 18,000 homes have either been built or are being built. 75% of those are below market rate, and he says simply letting SB 35 expire would be unconscionable, especially because California is now required to build 2.5 million new homes homes in the next eight years to try and address the housing crisis. And it's going to take all the tools and the toolkits uh, to be able to do that. In San Francisco, 2,000 homes have been built with the help of SB 35, and another 1,000 are in the process. Today, a woman who owns one of the new homes says being able to afford her own place in her hometown, San Francisco, has been nothing short of a miracle. When I finally moved in, it was a brand new place that I never imagined that I could actually afford a place like this on my own. The nonprofit Mercy Housing California built 145 new homes in the development where Elaine lives, and its head of real estate says the units went up faster than they would have before SB 35 was law and sold for 25 percent less than other developments like it. It's a model for the amazing results that can come from bringing a sense of urgency and real tools to solve the housing crisis in our state. Mayor London Breed also endorsed the plan to extend the law, saying in a statement, the streamlined permitting process has been crucial in getting new housing built more quickly in the city. She also says it's critical if the city plans to meet its required new housing goal in the next eight years. In San Francisco, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.